Hey guys, I am ready to release the first version of Car Stylus Wheelmaker. It's version one, and it's a simple plugin for ZBrush that allows you to spin a spoke, one spoke that you create around the center line in multiple uh, iterations from four to five, up to 12 times across a center line. And uh, it's quite simple to use. Here's the interface right here. It's just a plugin in ZBrush that you just throw in your Z plugin folder. I'll go over that later. But this is just a two that I've developed, and I'll include this in the uh, plugin. But you just take the your two, and in this case, this is this is just a sphere with a little indentation to tell me where the nuts might go through the uh, boats here might go through but you just put it on symmetry and I've got on X symmetry here I'm gonna bring out my move tool and just start iterating maybe uh, this one wheel one spoke and just kinda see how it might look it's really good to turn on transparency in the ghost so that you can see through the wheel as you're doing the first spoke at least and I'm just going to play around with this spoke maybe use clipping the clip curve and um, chop off some things just so I can get something interesting. You can use any of the tools that you normally would inside of ZBrush and that's looking pretty interesting. Um, any of the tools that you normally would in ZBrush which is kinda nice because there's a lot of tools that you can use in order to come up with something. And once you get something that you might like you just simply go to your Z, your car stylist wheel maker and you click on one of the spoke iterations and I'm gonna click five spoke this time make sure I delete lower here because if you don't delete lower what will happen is sometimes it'll it won't work properly but usually you should go ahead and delete lower geometry here before you spin it but there you have a wheel to iterate now of course you can keep on going and playing around with that particular spoke and seeing what you can come up with and see if there's something that you might like. Once you get something that you you think you might like, you just go ahead and click that same button again and there you have it. Now you see that it's moving through, you can see it through the wheel and so on and so forth, but if I go to my sub two palette and I am going to move this spoke or this hub or rim that is above you can see that the the rim that I or the spoke that I just did it's just above that I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this too so I'll have an additional one just in case I want to do something else turn this off and then I'm just going to go ahead and merge this one to that one merge down here and so now that spoke is a part of the rim as you can see if I mask by poly or poly group, I can still and I can still adjust that spoke to where I want to. Then I'm going to go ahead, turn off the frame, the mesh frame, and do it again. And of course, you can do this as many times as you like. You can do it up to 12 spokes, as I said before. And then when you want to merge, I'm going to go ahead and actually just cut off this top even though I won't see it beyond the wheel. I'm going to cut off the top and do it one more time. And then I am going to DynaMesh it together here. I'll just turn this up a bit and then DynaMesh it. And so now you can see that, let me turn off the transparency here. You can see that these, the spoke has merged with the rim. So now I can go back in and make sure this is off of dy dynamic and that's pretty good. We don't want on a dynamic at this point. And I, I can now go in and just smooth smooth what I need to smooth so that I'll have a nice radius. And I can go in and, and play around with uh, various details. In this case, I'm just going to push this up a little bit, smooth that out like that and then what I want to do is pinch do a little pinch we'll pinch that back into a tighter line again 
like that. And then let's just go ahead and spin that one more time. And there you have it. So that's how you would just iterate and iterate, um, play around with different wheels. And now what I've included also in the package is these two that I've made to help uh, see how this thing really would look as you get closer and closer to something that is as feasible. Um, I have this base clay here. This is what I call a base clay. And what it does, it cuts holes and the back plate so that the disc brake can sit against the back of the uh, wheel properly. So what you do with this is you simply go and I am going to bring this above. Let's bring this above. And I want to duplicate this too. I'll duplicate this one too just to be on the safe side because I'm not sure. You got that, that, and let's duplicate this, duplicate that. And then I am going to make, actually let's move this one down. We're going to move that one down. And then I'm going to make this subtract. And this one is going to be where it, it remains the same. So we're going to subtract this mesh from that mesh. Turn this one off. Turn this one off. I also want to make sure that I'm not on DynaMesh. Go back to the sub two, make sure this is on subtract. And we're going to be on this particular two. I'm going to turn on DynaMesh. And I am now going to merge, merge that two down with this one. So now that two is merged. And now if I go ahead and do this, it's going to subtract that two from the wheel. And so what you see is that it's went, it went ahead and carved out the little holes for the nuts and also it made it gave a plate on the back to mount the the disc brake to mount against the wheel hub. So, um it gives you a good indication of how this wheel might look. Now, uh the negative in the back is here to make room for the disc brake and its assembly. So uh, it's just sort of a safe thing. You can change the uh, the negative. This you can change this subtraction mesh in any way that you'd like to change it to, to work for you. But this is what I've done, and again, I'll include this with the plugin so that you can use it too. So I'll bring back the wheel here, and here we have a quick wheel in which we can um, play around with various shapes. So I hope this really helps you. I hope this is something that's useful for you. It's been really useful for me in terms of uh, iterating and uh, ideating different wheel designs. And I'm hoping that it's very useful for you. You can find it up on my Gumrobe, Gumroad site and also on the Car Stylist site in the store. Get it while you can. Um, and I hope, again, you enjoy it. So there.